We are going to convert measurements in decimal form from smaller units to larger units. We know that one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. When looking at this cylinder here, we can see that it is labeled in milliliters. If we were to fill this cylinder with water to the top, we would have 1,000 milliliters of water. Since 1,000 milliliters is equal to one liter, we could also say that we have one liter of water. If we filled this cylinder instead with just one milliliter of water, we would have one one thousandth of a liter. Since one liter equals one thousand milliliters, then one milliliter equals one one thousandth of a liter. To convert a quantity from milliliters to liters, you should divide it by the conversion rate of 1,000. So to convert one milliliter to liters in decimal form, we will divide one by 1,000. One divided by 1,000 equals 0.001 or 1,000th. One so one milliliter equals 0.001 liters and we just converted a measurement in decimal form. So to convert a measurement from a smaller unit to a larger unit, you must divide the smaller unit by the conversion rate. So we're going to take a look at a couple more examples before trying one of our own. I'll keep up the example we just completed. 1 milliliter equals 1 1,000th one of a liter. We then divided 1 by 1,000 to convert in decimal form, and our final answer was 0 0.001 liters. So we found that 0 0.001 liters is equal to 1 milliliter. Now let's convert 10 milliliters to liters. Remember our cylinder. If I were to fill 10 milliliters of water in my cylinder, I'd have filled 10 one thousandth of a liter. Now to convert 10 milliliters to liters, I must find 10 divided by 1,000, which is my conversion rate. 10 divided by 1,000 equals 0 0.01. So 10 milliliters equals 0 0.01 liters. Let's convert 100 milliliters to liters now. 100 milliliters is 100 one thousandth of a liter. I must divide 100 milliliters, which is the smaller unit that I'm wanting to convert, by 1,000 in order to convert milliliters to liters in decimal form. 100 divided by 1,000 equals 0 0.1 liters. So 100 milliliters is equal to 0 0.1 liters. Why don't you try one now? 145 milliliters equals how many liters? Now remember, one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. This is important because 1,000 is your conversion rate. Use what you've learned and solve this problem in your math notebook. Please be sure to show your work as I'll want to see it tomorrow.